We've been given a table and asked to identify what type of function that we're working with and also identify the important features of this function. First, we identify the type of function. In this table, the x values are increasing by 1, and as our x values increase by 1, you'll notice that the y values are decreasing by 23. You add 1 to the x value, the result is that you decrease g on the y values. This means it's a linear function. It has a constant rate of change, which we call the slope. The slope of a line is the change in the y divided by change in the x. And as we see in the table, if you add 1 on the x values, the change is 1. You will subtract 23 on the y values. The change in y is negative 23. And so the slope is the number negative 23. If you prefer, you can always do y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 for any points in the table. For example, you could travel from point where x equals 2 to point where x equals 3. y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, you will see that it's negative 23 over 1. I also see in the table that the y-intercept of this line, the point where the x value is 0, is the point 0, 340. And those are the important features that we can see of this line. As another example, let's consider this table. In this table, the x values are not increasing by a fixed one unit every time, like we saw in the last table. If we want to identify the type of function, again, I might ask if it's linear. Is there a constant rate of change? Change in y over change in x has to be the same between any two points in the table. If I travel from the first point in the table to the second point, the change in y would be 15 minus negative 19 over 0 minus negative 10. 15 minus negative 19 is 34. 0 minus negative 10 is 10. And so you see a change in y over change in x of 3.4. From point 2 to point 3 in the table, we'd have change in y over change in x of 100 minus 15 over 25 minus 0, which is 85 over 25, which is also 3.4. From point 3 to point 4, we have 355 minus 100 over 100 minus 25, so we have 255 over 75, which is also 3.4. And lastly, from point 4 to point 5 in the table, we want to check that rate of change. Change in y over change in x is 378.8 minus 355 over 107 minus 100. This is negative 23. Oops, my fault. My small, sorry about that, made a little math error. Positive 23.8 over 7, which is also 3.4. And so we see from every single point traveling to any other point on the table, we have a constant rate of change of 3.4. So on this graph, if you go over 1, you go up 3.4, and you'll land back on the graph again. It's a line that is increasing over 1, up 3.4, over 1, up 3.4. In the table, we also see that there is a y-intercept of 0, 15. And it's a linear function, we decided, because it has a constant rate of change. And we see that the slope is 3.4.